Welcome back. February 2nd would have been the mayor's pancake breakfast in downtown St. Catharines. Would have also marked Tuesday. And of course, for obvious reasons, that can't happen. But you can still get your toque here to talk about that. The CEO of Community Care, St. Catharines and Thorold. We have Betty Lou Souter. Welcome to the program, Betty Lou. Well, it's my pleasure to be here, Mike. And yes, it's going to be a different year. And we have been doing this uh, for 24 years. And I can remember the first time that Tim Rigby, the mayor of St. Catharines at the time, said to me, Betty Lou, they're doing this in Toronto. Can we do it here? We came together. We've been there ever since. So it's, it's kind of a sad time to think that we can't carry on the tradition, but we're going to do it to the best of our ability in another way and make sure that everybody still has the ability to buy the toques. This year they have a mask and have the ability to demonstrate that you care about coming up with solutions about homelessness. So that's where the money goes. It's to create uh, support to the organizations that provide uh, services to help the homeless people, but it also helps nationally to address some of the issues that the, that the sector is facing over the years. And we all know that it's growing and it's not pleasant right now for a lot of people. Raising the Roof has always been a national campaign and you've always promoted this local aspect of it. And the event, getting people together for that pancake breakfast, is the thing that really drives a, a lot of the excitement, a lot of people to come out and support the cause. Are you worried that numbers will be down because they have to visit the website this year? I definitely think that the numbers aren't going to be what they were before. There's no question about it. It is what it is and we have to make the best of what it is. And you know, when you say that the pancake breakfast we were the largest event of um, Took Tuesday across Canada, and we were pretty proud of that fact. But we're trying to, you know, promote it digitally as much as we can and do the online piece and recognizing that uh, there was no easy way to do it. We had thought of doing a drive-by breakfast, but then, of course, with the lockdown, you can't do that. So all kinds of things. So we're adjusting. We have to be nimble as everybody else has. But the issues are still there, and we're trying to encourage as many people as possible to continue to support the initiative. And this year, you know, as I said, they have the masks. The new tube this year is, is a black one, which is very nice. Whoops, I just stuffed it so it would stand up, but it's kind of cute with uh, this uh, logo on it. And we also have the ones from before with the pom-pom and then what we would call the Aspen one, the gray mixed one. So they're all available. They're uh, $15. The pom-pom one, of course, is more expensive. You know, the mask is $15 plus shipping. We have baseball caps from before, toques, pom-pom toques, everything. But it's not about the toque, it's about the message that you're sending. You don't have the opportunity to bring in corporate sponsors to help out on the day of. Are you hoping that maybe some corporate sponsors will buy a lot of hats and distribute them amongst their uh, employees? Oh, absolutely. We're encouraging people to do that. And we've got a pretty strong media campaign going on now and the people that have supported us in the past. And of course, last year, for the last couple of years, Niagara College has used this as their uh, marketing, a marketing course for their students. And of course, that couldn't happen this year either. So, you know, there's a whole bunch of pieces that, that, that aren't going to happen. But we're working, the Hope Center in Welland is doing it as well. Uh, and uh, we're working together to promote it. So the Niagara organizations are Community Care, St. Catharines and Thorold, and the Hope Center in Welland. So, you know, the money will come back. They'll identify it by, by your postal codes and have, have the money come back to you to help you with your programs.